Islamic State fighters have launched fresh attacks in the Syrian border town of Koban in an attempt to encircle the Kurdish defenders. The IS militants attacked western parts of the town but have yet to take the border crossing point with Turkey. The crossing point is a vital supply and exit route, correspondents say. The US-led coalition is continuing airstrikes against IS but the Kurds say they urgently need more weapons and ammunition. The US has itself said that airstrikes alone may not be able to save Koban from IS. Separately in Iraq. Officials in western Anbar province made an urgent appeal for military help, saying the area could fall to Islamic State militants in days. Massacre The BBC's Quentin Somerville, at the Syria-Turkey border, says the Kurdish militiamen have pushed back the latest advance by Islamic State inside Koban. However, he says the militants are being easily resupplied from the south and the east and are able to launch further attacks. A Syrian Kurdish official told BBC Arabic that IS had carried out intensive attacks on different areas across the southwest, southeast and east of the town. Several hundred civilians are still believed to be in Koban. On Friday, UN envoy for Syria staff and Amistura warned that they would most likely be massacred by IS if the town fell. Ismit Sheikh Hassan, a senior member of the Kurdish forces defending Koban repeated those fears on Saturday. He told Associated Press, we want a corridor to be opened, to evacuate the civilians. If, is, enter the city center, there will be a massacre. There are airstrikes, but they are not that effective. It has been 26 days we have been resisting. We want the international community and the United Nations to support us. The UK-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights Monitoring Group said there had been two more airstrikes on Saturday and that IS fighters had fallen back after 90 minutes of heavy fighting. Since the IS offensive against Koban began in mid-September, some 500 people have been killed and up to 200,000 have fled across the border into Turkey. Mr. Demistur called on Turkey to allow Kurdish volunteers to cross into Syria with equipment to be able to enter the city to contribute to a self-defense operation. Turkey has ranged its military forces on the border but has so far ruled out any ground operation on its own, and has refused to allow Kurds in Turkey to cross the border to fight. Turkey is reluctant to get involved militarily partly because it is concerned about arming the Kurdish forces who are fighting the IS militants. Turkey fought a long civil war with its Kurdish minority. The lack of action has led to deadly protests in Turkey by Kurds. Fragile. Meanwhile in Iraq, the provincial council in Anbar submitted a request to the Iraqi government asking for US ground troops to help fight IS militants, Iraq's al Sharqiya TV reported. The vice president of the council, Fayl al warned Anbar could fall in ten days. The jihadist group has been attacking the provincial capital Ramadi, and has seized army bases in the area. A U.S. official told AFP news agency the situation in Anbar was fragile. The U.S. military has carried out several airstrikes on IS militants, preventing them from seizing the strategic Hadith Hadam. However, is militants are still advancing in the province. Prime Minister Haider Alabadi has repeatedly ruled out any foreign ground troops in Iraq. IS fighters control large stretches of territory in Syria and Iraq. IS says it aims to establish a caliphate, a state ruled by a single political and religious leader according to Islamic law, or Sharia. It has become known for brutal tactics, including mass killings abductions of members of religious and ethnic minorities, and the beheadings of soldiers and journalists.